cell. You were source energy before you came into this body. A part of that consciousness came into the you that you know as you. And as you explore the variety and continually give birth to new expanded ideas, the source within you rides that rocket, so to speak, and becomes the fullness of every new idea that you launch. So now you who have explored and you who the larger part of you has expanded, you now have some options that your emotional guidance system is presenting to you. You can remain focused in opposition to your own expansion and feel bad while you do it. Or you can turn your attention in the direction of what you're asking for and begin to feel the flow and the momentum of the power of the energy that creates worlds flowing through you. In other words, when you go with the flow of who you are, you feel wonderful. That's what passion is. That's what enthusiasm. That's what love is. That's what the smell of a good idea is. That's what inspiration is. Your source has evolved because of requests that you have sent forward. Your source is holding steady to the vibration. Law of attraction is assembling all cooperative components and you, depending upon how you are focused, are cooperative, good feeling, or uncooperative, bad feeling. That is the story of how you feel and why you feel the way you feel. Every time, no exceptions, that you feel negative emotion. It's not because that thing or that person that you're looking at made you feel bad. It's because that thing you're looking at made you ask for more and you didn't go yet. You're still talking about why you need it instead of how good it will feel to have it. You're still defending your reason for asking rather than just going with the flow and understanding and accepting that when you ask, it is given every single time. But it is given vibrationally first. And that's the thing that trips so many of our human friends up. You don't care about the vibrational giving. You want the money in the bank. You want the lover in the bed. You want the car in the garage. Vibrational, vibrational, vibrational. What's this vibrational stuff? I want to spend it. I want to know it. I want to see it, smell it, hear it, taste it, touch it, feel it. I want, to, I want the tactile, physical experience of it. And we say, if you will satisfy yourself just for a little while with the emotional version of going with the flow, if you will be satisfied for a while to feel the exhilaration of the good idea it is our promise to you that your good idea will manifest in your life experience in your what you call reality in the same way that it has already taken shape and form in this vibrational reality this vibrational reality is a reality it is the vibrational precursor to everything that you know that is physically manifested but as humans you've become such organizers of the physical stuff and such observers of the physical stuff that you have lost your sense of who you really are. So you want to see something rather than feel something. We want you to get back to that primal, pre-birth, source energy, memory that sometimes it feels good just to feel good by affecting the direction of your thought and finding the feeling. The beasts of your planet still remember that. They are much more intuitive, you call them. They are much more instinctual, you call them. Which means they're listening to vibration. And you say, well, they've just got good ears. And we say, yes, they do. They have good ears. They are keenly sensing vibration. They see better than you do. They hear better than you do. They smell better than you do. Their food tastes better than yours does. And it's dog food. <laughs> They are better at interpreting vibration because they are not dependent on the visual manifestation. They are still utilizing their senses. And once you're consistently in this vortex, in this vibrational arena, where you're feeling the fullness of who you are, now you have clear sight. Now you have clear sound. Now you're in this vibrational sphere where what you're asking for can be revealed to you. Now, does that sound like a fairy tale to you? It must. It must. You go home and say, mm, 
went to that seminar and that Abraham person kept pointing to the floor and calling it a vortex <laughs> this imaginary friend that Abraham has <laughs> but we want you to understand that everything is vibrational there are all kinds of vibrations that you accept as reality that you can't see think about your television those horses and those men are not riding around in that box the box is getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner in other words you accept that it is vibration that is being interpreted in a way that is visual for you and we do not want to hurt your feelings and in no way do we want to diminish your appreciation of this vivid tactile sensual glorious physical world in which you are living but we want you to understand that everything that you are experiencing here is vibrational interpretation and you have the ability to interpret vibration in ways that you are not doing because you are we love you very much you are hung up on your physical reality you are so in love with this physical reality you want to see it and smell it and taste it and touch it and hear it you want to be in it you want to be involved in it you want the physicalness of it you document it you take pictures of it you make statues and monuments about it you are so stuck in your now reality and we want to drop a big bombshell on you and help you to understand something in a very powerful way what you are calling your now reality is old news because it is the bouncing off place for what is the now reality in other words this vortex of creation is who you have become and when you're looking at what is as far as it is manifested you're looking at old news and that's the separation that you feel that you call negative emotion we're not talking about big distances between out of the vortex and in the vortex we're talking about vibrational subtleties that you can feel that you can train yourself to understand you can train yourself into the vortex you can get in there and you can practice what it feels like to be in there until it becomes your expectation that things go well instead of your expectation that things do not go well you said I'll sift and I'll decide and then I'll wind up with my decision that's what a deliberate creator does but so many humans sift and ask and the source within them holds to the vibration and calls them steadily but so many humans keep beating the drum of need or of lack as they continue to speak their words without a finding a vibrational alignment with their words of desire so we want you to remember that you have two vibrational aspects and that the emotions within you are your indication of how well aligned or not you are allowing of your full connection or resistant of your full connection and that's what we'll be talking about as we are moving forward here today we want to help you to remember who you really are we want you to get up to speed with who you are we want you to leave here knowing the validity and the reality of your vortex of creation. We want you to accept that this vibrational reality is present tense. Do you know that in Australia it's Sunday? <laughs> That's so strange. Jerry and Esther were there. They called the office. They said, we're living your future. <laughs> And it's really good <laughs> and of course that wasn't altogether true was it because it was all now in other words in whether you are talking to someone in Australia on the telephone now or whether you're talking to someone in Atlanta or whether you're talking to someone who is non physically focused it's all happening right now isn't it it's now there's no separation it's now and what we want you to understand is that the now that is you is not the now that you think is you you think it's the you that's sitting here in these clothes with this much money in your bank account in this body with these relationships and we want you to understand that your now reality in this vortex of creation has moved past that and the reason that you feel negative emotion is because you're not moving with it so 
We want to show you how to get forward moving. We want to show you how to live real time. We want to show you how you can be in this moment, living in this physical world, but living the vibration of all that you have become. Do you know that when you're moving through life and a problem is coming into focus, do you know that in the moment that the problem is coming into focus, the solution, an equivalent solution is coming into focus too? Do you know that? That's such an important thing to know. When a question is formulating, so is the answer. But if you are of the frequency of the question or of the problem, you cannot be of the frequency of the answer or the solution. You can't be on both frequencies at the same time. We think that it will be helpful to you to understand that the equivalent solutions are brewing with the equivalent problems. And you can get so good at living so real time in this vortex by reaching for thoughts of optimism and thoughts of appreciation and thoughts of love. You can be so in sync with the vibration of who you really are that as a problem is coming into focus, the solution is too. And you can be so good at living real time that you don't even ever know the problem happened because the solution happened at the same time. Yesterday, and it happens almost every time, Jerry and Esther are driving anywhere. Esther is driving the monster bus. They're coming into the hotel. And as she is looking out ahead, she sees a vehicle towing a trailer with some equipment on it. And as Esther looked at it, she knew something squirrely was about to happen. She could just feel it. So she backed way off. She actually put her foot on the brake and slowed down about 15 miles an hour. The car behind her slowed too, and the one behind that slowed too, and the one behind that slowed too. Esther's bus is very big. And the man who was pulling the trailer was changing lanes with a car in his blind spot. And the car who was in his blind spot, swerved way out of the way, right over to where Esther would have been if she had not felt the problem and the solution simultaneously. Now that happens to you all the time. You know it does. All the time you have those sensations and much of the time you don't actually ever get to see the problem play out so that you don't get to crow about your solution. <laughs> But we want you to understand that it's happening all day, every day. Your physical body, trillions of cells, when something is ingested or introduced to your body, you breathe a bacteria or a germ or you ingest something in food or air. The trillions of cells in your body launch these rockets of desires and find the solution before your body ever finds the problem. In other words, this is happening all day, every day. You are introduced to so many things that if the doctors could get you to go every hour on the hour and let them check, they would pronounce you terminally ill with so many different things because your body is compensating all day, every day for what's coming to it. When you are an ornery toad, you interfere with the communication of the trillions of your cells. When you are in love, when you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on, when you are in chronic appreciation, when you're feeling good most of the time, you don't hinder your cells from finding their solutions in the moment that they are introduced to the problems. And the problems are so slight, they are not even microscopically discernible. When you allow yourself to live real time, where solutions and problems are dancing together, that's what you said you would do. Not one of you said, I'll go into the physical and I'll make life so hard for myself and others around us that we will really expand. <laughs> None of you said that. You said, I'll go forth into this contrasting environment and from the contrast, improvement will be born. That's what the evolution of all species is about. Improvement will be born. And you said, I'll pay attention to the way I feel and I will do my very best to stay up to speed with the expanded version of me. Because the fact of it is, when you expand and you don't go with it, you don't feel good. It's just that simple. 
You are a lover, and when you don't love, it feels awful. You are one who knows the worthiness of your being. And when you don't feel worthy, you feel awful. And it's not because someone outside of you is assigning that judgment and feeling bad about something you've done. It's that you expanded and you're not up to speed with you. Every negative emotion you feel, no exception, every single time, is because part of you expanded and the other part didn't.